Hello everyone, this is Sue from Scrappy Do Sue. I'm back to do another episode of the DD Farago YouTube Challenge, which is hashtag 2021 TCTC. And today it is episode 13, and we're going back over two previous pockets. So it's going to be quite a quick video. They're very simple and straightforward. Um, so with no further ado, let's start. So the first one, for the first one, you need a six inch by six inch piece of paper. And um, so in centimetres, that will be, that will be 15, just over 15, about 15, just under 15 and a quarter centimetres, I think. Um, so... We're going to start by, now I have to remember, this is very simple, but I need to rem So let me show you the piece I've made so that you can see what I'm doing. So you take your six by six and you end up with it looking like this. So if this was my journal page here, we would be sticking this pocket down here on three sides and then it makes a flip. And if you flip it over, you've then got another pocket here down the bottom. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like when it's finished. And I've just got to remember what direction I need to fold it in. Now, I've used um, sort of thinnish um, scrapbook pad page um, paper, so it's, it's not too thick. I wouldn't advise using thick cardstock because when, when you come to bend it and fold it, it doesn't like it and starts cracking. So it doesn't have to be double-sided. It's entirely up to you and what you want to do with it. Um, so let's start. So we want to, I'm going to turn it like that so that my top is facing the right-hand side. And then I'm folding it from side to side like so. Okay, so I'm just folding that bottom piece up to the top there like so. And you're just going to give that a crease with the bone folder. Okay, so we've got a piece like that. Then what we want to do next is we want to do the same again. But we're only, so we're going to take the, the bottom piece up to the top like so. But we're only creasing one side of it we're only actually putting a crease in that side like so okay so when you're finished you have a piece that's folded there top to bottom and a piece that's only folded from one side to the center and i've chosen to fold mine on the left side what you need to do then you should take the scissors and you're just going to cut up that half fold to the center fold like so okay okay now hopefully i've done this right because this is this will be um about the fourth attempt at this so if i'm going to have it on my page and i'm going to flip it round so yes so i have done it right i think so you need your um to put a th thumb hole in so whatever you use to do that whether it's circle punch or or your scissors or whatever and that's your first pocket there and then you're going to fold this piece below bit like a stable door you're going to fold that piece across the back turn it over and you're going to make a thumb hole in this side at the top and I'm just eyeballing mine like so okay so I will give that a bit of an ink for you so see if it helps for you to actually see where everything is i'm not sure it makes a huge difference on this piece of paper but we'll give it an ink round anyway um just to give it a little bit of definition um so and because mine is not double-sided when i go actually use it i will probably 
decide to collage that white area so so we're going to this is our piece and let's give that an ink oh trying to ink with the lid stuck to it i've got into a bad habit of sticking it in the lid when i'm not using it okay well we might as well just ink all around it okay the pot yeah because we're going to see all of that right okay let's put that back on right now we are now going to turn it over and we're going to glue this pocket down so we're just literally going to glue down the outer edge thin bead of glue down the side and then we're going to fold that over and give that a fold down like so okay so now we have a pocket in here we're going to turn it back over and we're not going to do anything else with it because that is it that's the finished piece because now let me just put the pin in my glue because we know don't we how temperamental this glue can be if it's not pinned right so now if this was my journal page I would literally be gluing down those two sides here um, and that side so it'd be down three sides here so I have a pocket in here like so and then I've got a flip so you turn it over and you've now got another pocket like that and that's all it is so that's quite neat isn't it yes it is I mean if you wanted to do it on the opposite page so you're near the fold down the middle then you know you could do that and just keep that down like so so yes it's quite unusual isn't it right so that's that piece we won't deliberate about that for too long okay so that's that put those across there right the next piece is very very simple again and for this you just need an A4 sheet of paper. It can be a digital that you've printed out, double sided, it can be um, a shop bought piece of A4 paper. This is shop bought parchment paper that I bought from probably from Amazon. Okay and it's A4, so that's the UK size A4 okay so a4 is is 11 and a half by um let me see i've got we've got the dimensions so it's it's actually to be precise it's 8.3 inches by 11.7 inches or 210 centimeters times 297 centimeters so that's what it is okay in imperial okay so this is how we make it so we have our piece of parchment here which is a lovely mellow color i like this i like the feel of it and all we're going to do is we're going to take the bottom to the top again we're going to lay it on its side and fold the bottom to the top like so and give that a fold down with your bone folder okay and then we're going to if you've got a board like this with your measurements on and your grid it's quite easy then to use this so what we're going to do is we're going to turn this down this corner down two inches so if you've got a board i can see that's two inches there so i want my fold line to be roughly there on that line there because that's two inches okay um and we're going to do the same again this side so again i just want my line to be there okay and then we're turning it over and i've just realized something i think dd Dee Dee, she folded it together both sides together as a half in when it was in half 
and that does make it a bit easier because then you get equal flaps but I haven't done that so now that's not folded up two inches so less talking Susan and more action and then you won't make mistakes okay so that's two inches so that's that okay so then we are going to open it out and we are going to open it out and we're going to so we're going to right no if we're not opening it out we're going to crease this down now with our bone folder give that a nice press down okay then we're just going to lay it flat we're going to take this piece at the bottom towards the center line the center crease and we're going to fold that down okay turn it round and we're going to do the same with this side take this to the center crease um, paying attention to how much is folded this on this side compared to the other side just make sure it's equal like so and this flaps over slightly the top piece okay like so so you can see I've got a bit of a flap there and then all we're going to do is take our glue and run this down this edge here of that flap that's going to be underneath the other flap so that's all you need to do thin bead of glue like so okay and then we're going to fold that back down and give that get rid of that glue there fold that down like so give that a crease okay and then turn it over and taking the bottom lengthwise to the top like so and you're folding that over like this so you've got a pocket that side when you turn it over you've got a pocket this side and this is how it will look on your page if this is my journal page I will put it on up at the bottom so I'm going to fold it over the bottom edge like so and this side we would glue down this side and this side so you'd have a side tuck here and a pocket here turn it over and then this one we will glue down these two sides so you have a pocket in here and a pocket at the back and that's it that's all you need to do very simple and straightforward okay that's everything today hope everyone's well welcome back to any of my existing subscribers and welcome to all my new subscribers um i hope you know you enjoy my journey of learning and getting to know how to do things um and hopefully my channel will become a bit more interesting as time goes on just finished a spring journal which is now uh, listed um, for sale on eBay if anyone's interested um, and um, I can put that link down below um, you can see me making that in on a, on the spring journal playlist um, and I will link below Dee Dee Farago's channel for and her playlist for hashtag 2021 TCTC and you, when you go over to her channel you'll also be able to see all the other crafters who have joined in with with her and see what they've done with their pockets okay so um I'm not decorating mine today because I don't actually have a project at the moment I'm in between projects now that I finished the spring journal and I'm thinking about what I want to do next so I'm just having a bit of um, time out to have a think and gather some um, materials together to make another project. So um, I, will, I will say goodbye and take care of yourselves and keep well. And um, my email address and address and my 
um, IG and Facebook contact details are all uh, linked below. So if you want to have, a, you know, get in touch with me, please do. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye.